Hey there, this is Atul from Team K Tonian Academy, and in this video, we're going to look at what's changed in AWS Solution Architect Associate Certification C03. We'll look at topics like what is the difference between the older version and the new version of exam, which is C02 versus C03. What new topics have come? What changes have been done? We'll also look at the high level domain wise topics, including the new services or new changes that have happened in C03 exam. We'll also look at some of the common questions like that you may have or being asked by hundreds of our students, like what happened if I've already appeared for the exam of previous version C02, or how long my exam is valid for. Or we'll also give you an exam guide, including some simple exam questions and so on. But before that, let's first begin with the exam overview. So the primary objective of this Solution Architect Associate C03 exam is to showcase your skills and knowledge in AWS technology across wide AWS services like compute, storage, networking, databases, including the design of based on cost and performance optimized solutions. It also showcases that you have a good understanding of AWS's well-architected framework. If you look at it's a associate level exam, after that you also have a professional in solution architect as well as in AWS DevOps. The total time you get is 130 minutes. The, there are 65 questions and you will be evaluated on out of those 50 questions. You should at least score 700 um, out of 1000. Exam fee is $150 which might vary slightly differently depending on which country you're writing this exam from. You can give this exam either online and or by going to a testing center. How to register for an online exam and how to give that exam probably I'll cover in a separate video. If we look at the exam topics, there are four main domains, which is first is design, designing the secure architecture, that's probably around 30%. And that's, this weightage has increased com compared to C02. Then you have a designing a resilient or highly available architecture, which is 26%. Then designing a highly performant architecture, 24%. And then designing a cost optimized architecture, which is 20%. Now, if you want to go a little bit more in detail about these topics, you can go to this page of AWS Solution Architect Associate Certification Exam. In that, there'll be a link for the exam guide. So open this link here. And if you scroll down somewhere in the, in the middle, you will see exam guide and right click on that, this exam guide. And this is where you will have all these exam topics, domain wise topics. So if you go to page number two, so scroll down, there'll be more detailed topics. What do you need to know in terms of, for example, designing secure architecture, scroll down further for design resilient architecture to see what all topics AWS expect you to know. Similarly for the domain three, highly performant architecture, as well as scroll down for the cost optimized architecture. Now it will also show you if further scroll down of list of all the services that um, you need to know. Topics like compute, storage, containers, databases, analytics, front-end applications, machine learning, management and governance, and so on. Now let's look at what is difference between C03, which is the latest version compared to C02, which was an older version. If you look at the dates, the older version, which is C02 expired on 29th of August, 2022. The registration for the new exam started back month back before that, which is 26th of July. And now since 30th of August, 2022, you can now take SACO C03 exam. Now, I know you might be thinking what the, about what if I've already given exam of C02 just a few months before C, before this uh, expiry date. I'll cover that as well in a minute. First, let's look at the exam wise, domain wise, what topic have changed. So if you look at in C02, uh, if you see the resilient architecture, which was earlier having 30%, now being reduced to 26%. What has gone up is designing changes from designing 
a secure application and architecture to just design a secure architecture so application design has secure application have gone out but design of a secure architecture is and that weight has increased 30 percent uh, from 24 percent to 30 percent that means that you'll be more focused about sec building a secure architecture similarly then you have a high performing highly performant architecture uh, the topics are same but it's slightly reduced in terms of weightage now cost optimized architecture uh, slightly more which is two percent increase on the topics now in terms of topics what's being changed in like from analytics point of view you've seen new services like lake formation as well as managed stream for apache kafka from an application integration services you have new topic being added app sync also from a compute there's a new topic which is vmware cloud on aws from a containers you see new topics ecs anywhere eks anywhere and eks distro from a database point of view there's new services within database space like uh, amazon key space for cassandra the amazon neptune then also quantum ledger database qldb and time stream from a developer I think there was a briefly earlier there was a developer a couple of questions were there one or two questions were there which is now x-ray they're there from a front-end and mobile applications point of view there's a AWS amplify and Amazon pinpoint these are the new topics from machine learning a topic on a high level you should have announced a couple of questions expect in machine learning as well you don't need to go into deep but a basic understanding of machine learning then from serverless there's a app sync new being added in management and governance now grafana uh, as well as prometheus and if you're doing docker kubernetes or cloud native then grafana and prometheus becomes important so these two topics similarly aws proton as well on management and governance side now i'll give you a link of the blog a ketonacademy.com forward slash aws sa11 which is aws sa11 where we'll be listing down uh, these topics these are the high level topics or just specific if you want to do changes these are the changes being or new topics or new services introduced in the exam with that now let's look at the common questions you may be having so these are a set of questions asked uh, by uh, our students who have already done a c02 exam or are were preparing for c02 exam when this new uh, exam was announced so first is will i've already done my c02 will my existing certification expire or is what exactly is retiring basically all is my existing certification entirely retiring or will the topics be different in the new exam no so first and important thing is this aws certifications last for three years now this exam which is c03 is just a revision of c02 or the new topics being added which i've already highlighted those are changing the rest all is pretty much same now in terms of topic wise or the exam questions most of the questions as i said are going to be on the similar topics just new topics being added now if you have already done the aws sa02 uh, maybe you've done it in july 2022 or just a couple of months before that you don't need to worry about you can use that you will still be aws solution architect certified for till next three years from the date you clear the exam so you don't need to worry about this now other questions are will the exams be harder uh, or will there be any hands-on or it will be just multiple choice questions similar to earlier or do i need to learn completely new again the exam from a difficulty point of view, it's pretty much going to be same. There's not be much differences. Uh, I wouldn't expect difference in the exam topics. There, there's no hands-on. Uh, it will be multiple choice questions with you will have an option to either select one option or maybe ask to select uh, uh, two or more uh, answers for a particular uh, question. There's no negative marking. Now, uh, you don't need to uh, do a, a completely new program nothing it just whatever you've learned if you've already prepared for c02 just add these deltas or the different topics that's all you need to do we asked our existing members and list uh, members uh, to see what questions comes to your mind so let me look at all the questions that have been asked these are 20 plus questions are picked up from, from the huge list of questions so let me answer pick them one by one and if you still have any outstanding questions then leave them under comment section and i'll answer those questions 
So the first question it was about what's the new topic or what service is being added into this new exam. This has been asked multiple times. So what I've done is I've highlighted just the deltas or the topics. If you're already preparing for C02 and if you want to see the only the deltas, you can get a list of this entire topic list. I'll refer that under ketoneacademy.com forward slash AWS essay 11. Now the next question is how long this AWS certificate is valid for? I've already covered for three years. Now, when is this CO2 take update taking place at, or when does this CO2 exam expire? And this might be old question that came before uh, the new, this is dates were finalized. So I've still picked it up that the C02 was uh, expired on 29th of August and the new exam is now available since 30th of August, 2022. Another question is, hey, I've recently passed SO, my C02 what does this mean? Do I have to take the exam? Officially, you're not uh, requ uh, required to. You can continue to use your C02 or with that. You'll still be AWS certified, um, valid for three years. If you want, it's always good to refresh and update and appear for the next exam or C03 exam if you want to. Now, I've already covered this question. Is it going to be harder? I don't anticipate anything. Uh, it will be pretty much same as C02 if you've appeared for C02. Are there any hands-on labs? No, it's multiple choice questions. Another question, yeah, this is related to, came from our training program members that the course on Ketone Academy related to AWS Solution Architect is, will that be updated? So we're already working on that update and the new batch is starting in September, 2022. Uh, that will be using the revised content and will be adding these services that's being introduced in C03. Now, how can I get a hands-on experience? This was a generic question, how we, I can get a hands-on experience for AWS. So the best way is to, AWS gives you a free trial account uh, you can create for one year. Now be mindful of this uh, free account that even though AWS says it's free, it's free for first of all for one year and that too you have a limit on how much you can use. So for example, you can use up to a particular uh, hours free. Uh, and then particular uh, disk space free and so on. So be careful in terms of value using, but it's pretty cheap as well. So uh, I would suggest do the hands-on lab for list of all the hands-on lab we recommend you to do in order to become an expert in this topic. I would suggest check it out by going to ktoninacademy.com forward slash AWS SA05. SA stands for Solution Architect. Now, what are the exam domain topics? Uh, I've already covered that. I'll be putting the link on our blog at ketoneacademy.com forward slash AWS SA11 for all these references as well. And I'll put it into the comment section as well or the description as well here. Next is which new AWS services are covered? I've already covered as well. And now I think I'm repeating these questions because these questions came and I, this whole video was done based on those questions. But if you still have any questions, as I said, um, uh, feel free to ask. If you have to go, you can go to the page 11 for new services. If you look at appendix section of PEEP 11, page 11 of this guide. Uh, this is important, this is a good question. Can a non-technical person take AWS a certified solution architect, C03? Answer is yes, absolutely. If you're a non-technical person, or even if you're a technical person, I highly recommend you to complete the hands-on labs. Uh, and that's when you will learn these concepts. Also, uh, there's a sample exam questions available on AWS site, which uh, let me show you on the link that I'm going to give you. Uh, you scroll down here on this page and here sample questions, and there's also official practice questions. So have a look at. Also, we have done, I think 25 sample questions we give uh, for you by going to ketoneacademy.com forward slash AWS SA07. Also go and if you can, I would suggest do a couple of um, sample set of questions before you actually appear for the exam. Uh, if you're part of our training program, we have three set of questions of, I think we have around 200 plus questions, exam questions. So make sure you go through them. Now, next is what will be my responsibilities as a AWS solution architect? And this question has been asked a number of times. So what I've done is mainly you'll be doing implementation, you'll be designing and implementing the AWS solutions, common solutions or common services on AWS. As an architect, you'll be designing, but if you're also playing a role of uh, the cloud engineer or cloud operations guy, then you will also be implementing those solutions. So you'll be doing like things like storage, networking, compute, databases, highly available applications, uh, disaster recovery across multiple regions, all those things you'll be doing. For a list of all the, uh, uh, 
roles and responsibilities i'll link this blog which will highly recommend you to refer another video which we have done it in past another question that up comes is um as a part of k academy does it guarantee the success of C03, do you guarantee that? No, as a part of the program, you get extensive step-by-step -step hands on lab videos that you'll be performing, including then uh, three or four set of simple exam questions, so 200 plus exam questions. And as long as you follow the uh, those things, you will definitely get a result in terms of both certification as well as for job. Now, um, if you're to go deeper or more about where can I get this AWS uh, CSA C03 exam guide, again, I've already given the link. I'll add it again on here. Now, passing score. Passing score is, I think earlier I said 700, it's actually 720. You should be scoring 720 or higher in order to clear the ex exam. This, the highest you can score is up to 1000. Exam format, I've already covered multiple choice questions and there are no negative marking for that. There are some questions will say that answer one and some question might say oh answer two or three correct uh, so be careful on those as well and then final was is there any change on syllabus i've already mentioned that as well now if you are ready to prepare for this exam or would like to get a higher paid job in aws as a aws cloud engineer aws solution architect then i'm doing a free roughly 90 minute class where i'll be bringing an aws expert we'll be talking about the roadmap a eight week roadmap including 40 plus hands-on labs and we'll be also doing some demos and some topics about the common services that you should be knowing so if you're interested in this uh, free 90 minute class then register by going to k20academy.com forward slash aws sa02 now i've tried to cover as many questions as came to my mind when this new exam was announced and including almost all of the questions that we have received in the last one or two months since AWS announced this new exam C03. But still, if you have, if you have any questions that I might, might have missed or comes to my mind or need any further explanation on any of the topics or what additional topics you want us to cover on our YouTube channel, then leave them as a comment and then I'll answer your questions. With that, this is Atul from Team K1 Academy. And I'll see you next week on another video on AWS.